Hey guys, so today I'm here to review two eyeshadows that have been talked about a lot lately and I've tried both of them and I'm just kind of here to tell you what I think of both and which one I would recommend more. The shadows I'm talking about are the Giorgio Armani Eyes to Kill Intense shadows and then the Chanel Illusion de Ombre shadows, I think that's how you say it. So these have been pretty big on YouTube, especially the Eyes to Kill. Um, I've seen a lot of people do videos on them. I've heard a lot about them on beauty blogs, and they're just very popular right now. And so I tried this one first, and then I recently just picked up the Chanel eyeshadow because I was so curious to kind of see. I really thought that they were going to compare, but in reality, they are totally different, and I just want to let you guys know kind of what I think of each one and which one I would recommend most. Um, I'm going to start with the Eyes to Kill because I feel like that's a little more well-known. This is what the packaging looks like. And then number nine, and I think it's called Rock Sand. It doesn't really have the name on it, but I don't know. Um, th this comes with a little black stopper thingy that you kind of have to take down. And this is the color. It's a really pretty peachy gold color. Um, now the consistency of this is very different. It's kind of messy, as you can see in my cap here. Um, it gets a lot on that little black disc and then everywhere. It's very powdery to me, like when I touch it. I get a lot of kind of fallout. This is a cream to powder type formula. Um, when you touch it, it feels like a powdered eyeshadow. It's like a very finely milled. It's not like a pigment where, um, you know, it's just totally powdered eyeshadow. It definitely has some stiffness to it, but it's not like, you know, a typical MAC eyeshadow. Um, it is very soft. This is the Chanel eyeshadow, and this is in the color 84. I have no idea how to say the name, so I'll let you read it this really pretty silver green color. I love it. It's what I'm wearing on my eyes right now. Um, and this consistency is totally different from the Eyes to Kill. Um, this is a gel based formula and I'm going to kind of zoom up here and see if you can see here. Um, when I touch it, it almost kind of springs back and forth. It's very gel like. It's a cream shadow. You don't have to try very hard in the pan to like get the product out. You literally just touch it and it's there. Um, and then this one also comes with a little Chanel brush. And it's angled, so you actually use this for eyeliner, or I just used it today to put it all over the lid. Normally, these brushes are totally useless, but I actually love the Chanel brush. I think it's great. Um, that's what I used last night and today, so I really like this brush. So the consistencies are totally different. Like I said, um, very powdery, I would say, and this one's very gel-like and more creamy. It almost feels like you're touching like an eye cream. Sort of, it's very soft and silky. Um, this is soft too, but I get a lot of fallout with this one. And I'm going to swatch the colors here for you. As I kind of rub my finger around in here, I get a lot of the extra pigment falling out everywhere. So this is a swatch of this color here. It is really pretty. This is a swatch of the Chanel eyeshadow. It's hard to compare these two colors because the colors are totally different. Um, I think out of all the Armani eyeshadows, this is one of the most powdery textures. Um, I do kind of regret purchasing this one. I think I would have had a better experience with another color. Um, but this one in particular is just kind of hard to work with. I When I put this on, I really had to pack it on and I felt like I was wasting so much product because it was just like packing on the eyeshadow. I had a lot of fallout. It was just not evenly distributed either. I kind of had to go over some places um, because it would apply really heavy in some places and then really sparse in the other. And I just really didn't love working with this eyeshadow, but once I kind of figured it out after a while, um, I really did like it. However, the major difference on these two eyeshadows are the wear time. And this is kind of surprising because everyone is going crazy over these Armani eyeshadows and saying they give you uh, 10 or 12 hours where I forget. On me, this creased up so badly. I don't know why, and I wanted to like it so much because everybody's talking about it, everybody loves it, and I, I tried it so many times because I'm like, there's something I'm missing here. I tried it without a base, with the base. Um, I use Too Faced Shadow Insurance, I use Urban Decay Primer Potion, um, different ones because I was like, why isn't this working on me? But honestly, this creased up so fast. And I go to cosmetology school, so I'm on the floor a lot working with um, clients and it gets really hot, so my eyeshadow creases up pretty much no matter what I do. But honestly, this creased on me incredibly too soon and that's just really disappointing to me. I went to a concert last night and I applied the Chanel eyeshadow. It was the first time wearing it and I was like, oh, okay, this could be a bad idea because I don't want it to crease up like crazy. But I'm going to insert a little snippet here of when I got home from the concert. I was a sweaty mess. Oh my God, it was such a, 
it was in this little tiny venue and it was just so hot in there and it was a disaster but um, my eyeshadow stayed put I think my blush fell off my foundation was non-existent anymore I kind of sweat that off um, but my eyeshadow stayed put and I wore this for about 12 hours last night without creasing okay so this is the color um, as you can see it's still very shiny and glittery and I don't have any creases on my eye and this is about five, almost six hours after I applied it. And then again, um, sweating, crazy concert with like pretty much melted off face. So that's amazing. <laughs> and so for me, that's the major thing about this eyeshadow is I want the longevity when I'm working, when I'm at school. To me, that's really important. That's why I, out of the two, I'm going to recommend the Chanel one for you. The price is about the same. I want to say this is 32 and this is 36 a little bit more because it comes with the brush, I'm sure. Um, but I'll put the exact prices down below. Um, they're both four grams, even though the Chanel container is a little bigger. Um, it's the same amount of product, but the consistency is totally different. And on me, the wear time for the Chanel is just a lot better. And I have to recommend that one. The only thing about the Giorgio Armani is that they do have more colors. And I think some of the colors are a little more unique. Certainly colors I've never seen before. So I do like their selection of colors a little better. But the Chanel ones have... I want to say six colors um, and they're all very very pretty they both have very pretty refined shimmer it's not glitter at all it's very classy and work appropriate um, so between I have to give it to Armani for a better color selection but for the staying power and consistency alone the Chanel is a lot easier to work with and stays a lot better on me I know this is probably like the first negative review about these Armani eyeshadows but um, just being honest with you guys, if you're going to spend the money for a really high quality eyeshadow, you want it to stay put. And that's why I would go with the Chanel. Um, hope you liked this review. I'm probably going to do a tutorial with the Chanel one. There's about two different ways that I like to wear this eyeshadow. So I think it would be kind of fun to show you on one eye and the other. Uh, just different methods to apply this because they're really fun to play around with. Look for that. And yeah, I will see you in my next video. Thanks. Bye.